Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. All right, so after already winning the election by a thin margin, Joe Biden took to Twitter to ask for donations because Trump is challenging the results of the election, saying his team must fund the transition themselves. Really? Really? First of all, the Biden team is not on the hook for any state electoral challenges. State electoral boards bear those costs. Aside from that, until Biden is sworn into office, any members of his transition team do not have any official positions and are not entitled to compensation. Once they are assigned those positions, the federal government pays their wages. Biden does not. Any delays regarding the transition do not cause Biden additional or unexpected expenses. What, more phone calls? Oh, gee. Yet what is most important is the fact that he is asking Americans who have suffered decreased incomes, often complete loss of income for much of this entire year for money. You can count on the fact that he has been instrumental in Pelosi's refusal to reach an agreement for a stimulus package until he is sworn in. No matter that millions of Americans are sitting or standing in line for food banks for up to 12 hours and facing possible eviction weeks before he is sworn in. Others are likely to have their utilities turned off. People are hungry, homeless, and cold during the winter while Congress plays games and the president-elect asks for money. Of course, this is likely to, sig to be a signal to his true base, rich donors and corporations that he is wide open to donations for which he will be deeply indebted and will surely repay those debts, no matter what it costs the average American. Because who's going to pay for it in the long run? No matter what, you pay for it. If you recall, Obama kept his fundraising collective going throughout his presidency, Organizing for America. Remember that? Is it still going? I have no idea because I refuse to donate to an organization built to pay a sitting president to do his damn job. Yet this appears what Biden is now ramping up to use as a working model of his administration. Worse yet, Organizing for America never resulted in anything but money in the pockets of capitalists. No legislation was passed due to the existence or efforts of Organizing for America, which efforts were focused almost entirely on using donations to ask for more donations. One also has to recall that the Biden Cancer Initiative, which only existed for two years, paid foundation executives millions, totaling over 60% of revenue and never cut a check to a single group or foundation of $4.8 million in revenue donations, just, just the president of the foundation was paid nearly $650,000 in 
in the two years before the foundation closed up shop in 2018, having opened in 2017. Yeah, I'll be waiting for Biden cultists to be defending that. Yet even without his charity for highly overpaid and ineffective white-collar executives, a president-elect begging for money after the election is not only unethical, but should be completely illegal by any standard. That is, if you have standards. Then again, if this country had standards, none of our elected officials or candidates would be begging for money at any time while campaigning. If political campaigns in this country were funded by the government itself, equally and for all major parties, we would not have any debate, discussion, or concern that our elected officials were beholden to deep-pocketed owners, oh, excuse me, donors, whom they represent far more than they represent our needs as a nation. We would not even have to have the discussion regarding making lobbying a criminal offense. One should be paying close attention to who the donors are heeding Biden's cry for cash. Because that will tell you just as much as his horrid cabinet choices what his decisions will be in office for the next four years. Before anyone even starts, there is absolutely nothing here defending Trump. I have already moved past Trump, and so should you. I've said it before, and say it again. You do not get to use Trump as an excuse or even a response to anything anymore. Is this what you want for a government? It's not what I want. Please share this video, discuss these subjects far and wide. If you can, please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. Yeah, I'm asking for money, but, you know, I'm not in charge of the country. I'm trying to keep people informed, not deceived. All right, so anyway, that's it for this one. I'm keeping it short, and I hope you have a good day. See you in the next one.